This is how to transfer Qubit's Torrent's data and torrents to another machine. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Qubit Torrent and install it. Since I already have it installed, this isn't apply to me, so we're going to just close it up. So let's exit it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up File Explorer. We have File Explorer, and then we're going to go to our C drive, users, username, then we're going to go to app data, and we're going to want to create a duplicate window, so I'm just going to press Control N. And one of these, we're just going to go to local. We're going to scroll down until we find Qubit Torrent. Qubit Torrent. BT Backup. And here is where we're going to place our torrents. So now we're going to go to our other window and we're going to go to roaming. Scroll down until we find Qubit Torrent. Qubit Torrent. And we're going to leave the window to the side. So now on your old PC, you're going to go and go to the exact same directories. So users, user, app data, local, qubit torrent, bt backup, and you're going to move all the files from your old PC to this PC, and you're going to paste them in here. And then for this directory, you're going to only want to copy the qubit ini file and the qubit hyphen data ini file, and you're going to transfer it to this PC, and you're going to replace them. So I'm going to show you an example. So I'm going to be using my Linux machine as an example. So first we're going to go to local, share, data, qubit torrent, bt backup, and we're going to copy all these files. And we're going to drag them over, over to bt backup. Then we're going to go back. We're going to go to config, qubit torrent. And we're going to copy these two files. So the qubit.conf, qubit data conf, and we're going to copy over to the, our other window. So now that we move the two conf files over from my Linux machine, we're going to want to rename them. So first we're going to get rid of these two. And now we're going to rename. So i and i, hit yes. Once again, i and i, hit yes. So our last thing we're gonna do is we're going to actually copy the files over. So let me grab all these. Well, first let me go to my downloads folder. So downloads, drag these over. So these are the actual torrents, so the actual downloads. And for me, they're just a bunch of ISOs and also just this single tails folder. So now that's done transferring, we're gonna open up Qubit Torrent and we're gonna look at all the files. So as you see, our ratio is exactly the same as it was before on my old machine. And if we click on Control I and we open it up, my user statistics, user statistics is exactly the same as well. A problem you might have is that it doesn't recognize or, or it's saying missing files. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on one of them or actually all of them, set location, Go to our folder, select, and then it's just going to recheck them all. And as you can see, it's all working perfectly fine.